Ladies and gentlemen, due to the success of the previous video, here's another compilation. Once again, not my footage. Please go down into the description, look at all of the things I've listed over there. Make sure to drop a like on the videos and their channels. Ladies and gentlemen, starting off with the nasty DPS Paladin. And I've been looking at this dude just whacking things, tricks you on parses and everything, but this blew my mind. Absolutely sickening. Because when Paladin came out, I said hands down, best visuals in the game. And I still stand by that statement. It is absolutely gorgeous. But on top of that, it does damage, and my hands are so sweaty for tr thinking that I should be making something like this. Knowing that I will possibly get gank Because <laughs> I don't know his ultimate damage. Oh wait, no I do, because this guy, and you need to finish his channel, he has all the tricks on Parsons. It is gorgeous. Look at that. Kaliligos murdered in about a minute. And on top of that, 51% of the damage, why not? Now, I'm not gonna show the whole video on this one, but this is a Mayhem Berserker, and I haven't seen a single one in Tier 4, but I can tell you this much. This dude is popping some mad damage. Do I know what his real uh, Loawa is? I genuinely don't know, but the damage itself is, well, speaking for itself, I guess. Oops. Outside. And looking at the cooldown of his T-Skill, that's pretty neat. <laughs> Missing the crit on the last hit, that is obnoxious. But the one thing we all want to see. <laughs> Hitting a 5.8. That's disgusting. That is so disgusting. I haven't seen many times before. Shock Scrapper on T4. Here we go, some Trixie on Parse. <laughs> I I actually don't know what the damage is looking like or its rotations, but uh, oh yeah, big hit and we're still hitting. Well, nearly 150 million damage per second, but now the damage is falling off just a little bit. Else. Shock scrapper, I gotta say, I am impressed. I did not know it was gonna look that fun. Oops. Fast forward to the hyper awakening. <laughs> Clock him in his mouth, 3.9, ladies and gentlemen. Sick. Next one up, BK Rotation, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, because in Tier 4, this class changes for the better. I wonder whether this one is going to get a nerf. I am assuming it will, but there is a reason why I changed the BK. I still don't know what I want to do. I like both of them, so so much is crazy so normally you could not get out of your identity skill but now with the extra z button you actually can so one two is get out of there and then once you think like oh but i want to go back you can here we go us, us, get back out oh yeah and then you pop back into the rotations once again hit the s button Get your full identity skill once again, and guess what? You can fist somebody right in the mouth. Oh, it is so nasty. And then on top of it, we still got the T-Skill up there as well, doing massive amount of damage. Now, this is something that is interesting to me, and probably me alone, and that is Emperor Arcana. And mind you, the parse is... <laughs> House of Cards, here we go. Lightning hitting for a 2.6 a billion. And well, this obviously is nuking the parse so badly. But here's the funny part. This also shows that swiftness is influencing the T skill. But not only that, it also does one other thing. With the cards of both Empress and Emperor Arcana, you are able to reset the T skill, which is absolutely ridiculous absolutely ridiculous as well as the cooldown reducers which means that i think overall most of the classes that are very beneficial toward resetting their t scale will be the absolute winner at the end of the day moving up to something interesting 4.4 and smashing down on the boss what 
<sighs> yeah, I knew this one was sick, but having this into the cutscene is nasty. <laughs> but one of the things that is absolutely mesmerizing, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Move up. You don't care. We got 40 bars. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Beep. Uh, where's your HP? What happened? It's dead. <laughs> what? Next up, Hunger Reaper versus Chicken T skill. Absolutely phenomenal. And if you look at it cleanly, then the E button is resetting the T skill. I love it. The fact that you can do that is marvelous. Knowing that if you get the Brushaza bracelet, it is already lowering to 33% of the cooldown. So you will be able to spam another skill more often. Love it. Fast forward a little bit. Almost dead and has him for the finisher. Ew, that is god. Oh my god, that feels so good to finish it off with that one. Ew. Let's look at that again. Oh. Give him some of the hip sway. Oh, oh. You're dead. Mm. As for Lunar Reaper, well, we had people on the Trixion showing absolute mad damage like this guy. But they said it's damn near impossible to deal with this stuff in an actual raid. Who knows? If you can, you're murdering things. Now, this is an Esther. 117 something, 35, lots of damage, and I have no words for this, ladies and gentlemen. This is sick. And as you can see closely as well, W button Vortex is lowering the cooldown of the T skill as well. 1.3. And ladies and gentlemen, next one up, AT Scouter opening up with busted damage. I don't know how many people play this actually, but this damage is really quite ferocious. I, however, know nothing of this class. Absolutely zero. I did see buttons. I see them go off cooldown and on cooldown. And the damage is slowly lowering here and there. But he hasn't used his hyper skill yet. I don't know his amount of awakenings or whatever. But we were waiting on this one. Hey, oh, that skill looks fantastic. I love that one. I really love that one. And then, ladies and gentlemen, one of my personal favorites. We got Control Glavier and Screen Shake and everything is on. I usually mind a little bit, but wow. Skill rotations are looking fantastic. There is no more MP problems from the looks of it, at least. And we can have skills on top of skills on top of skills. The only thing that is lacking, damage. Like, I've seen all sorts of damage coming up. And I haven't checked this guy's Loawa, and maybe I should. But look at the T-skill in a little bit. Come over here, baby. Else! Yo, that is so snappy. I love that. Just sad that the damage is not really looking like it. And the funny thing is, it is so bad that... The Hyper Awakening actually got enough time to charge to kill the Kaliligos. Next up, the counterpart, we got ourselves Pinnacle Glavier and we got some Trixion Parses as well. And it is definitely good to see the comparison here and there. But do note, once again, Brochaza Bracelet is not there yet. Therefore, the damage is still subject to change. However, I never really liked the Pinnacle Glavier because it is a back attack class, but I heard that the Korean community are looking into builds where you don't have to do that anymore. And I've also seen people not run the red T skill, but the blue T skill instead, even with Pinnacle Glavier, which I do understand because I like the blue one way, way better. But if you look at the actual parts, then... I would say lackluster, but if you look at this guy's HP, I am assuming this guy is not higher than, let's say, 1660 maybe? Because if you will compare it to this Charizard, then this is absolute BS. Yes. Here goes. <laughs> this is evil without the awakening. 
<laughs> this is so much BS, ladies and gentlemen. I, I do not know. I do not know how this class works, but all I know is this is some BS. Uh, here we go again. So the initial burst is just that high. Ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, we got ourselves Demonic. And this one came as a surprise because... The demonic with another skill on top of the skills that we have is just absolutely gorgeous because let's face it now that we got another t skill but on top of that even got an extra skill when you get enough blood stacks that is absolutely insane and the initial burst is looking quite similar to the artillerist which is pff, beyond nasty and all you need is a rotations here we go with the nasty fingers i love that skill man it looks both beautiful and menacing and horrifying at the same time. That is just absolute nuts. Here we go back into the rotation. Ooh. Ooh. How many hits do we even need? 30? I do not know. 40? No. Do we need 50? No. We need 60 stacks and then boom! <laughs> There's so much damage coming out of that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please put it down into the comments. What would you like me to look up next? Also, please, once again, make sure to drop a like and sub to all of the videos that I've shown over here if you like them. So, once again, thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time.